Hi, I'm Geraldine, and I'm here at West Lebanon Feed and Supply. I'm sure you've all noticed when you're driving down the road that there's the webworms nests all in the trees. It can be a little intimidating and um, for sure you're thinking that they're killing the trees. It's actually quite the opposite. The, the worms kind of are in their own little bubble. They're, they're hatched and they feed on the old dying leaves that in a few short weeks are just going to fall off and we're going to be raking them up. So they're actually kind of doing us a favor, so to speak. They don't actually uh, go after the new growth, which is when they would probably harm the tree. So your first reaction is to go do something, and really, you don't have to. They like to feed on the trees, however, that like our crab apples, plums, our apple trees. And if the tree is young and they've got a couple of webs on there, it might be something where you want to decide to take action. So with that being said, what can you do? There's a couple of different things you can do. One, you can just cut the branch off if you can reach it. Two, you can poke a hole in the web and kind of burst their bubble, so to speak. And when you do that, you're allowing predators now to go in and attack and basically have a smorgasbord. Or if you really want to do something and have full control over it, you can use a product called BT. BT is an organic pesticide. It's a strain of bacillus. And you basically can just point and shoot. If the web is too far up and you can't reach it, then what you can do is get a concentrate, get a hose adapter, and then you just point and shoot with the effort of the hose. Or you can just let Mother Nature take its course. Either way, I'm Geraldine. I'm here at West Lebanon Feed. If you have any other questions, I'm happy to answer them for you.